So John wants to see inside my Kaiser air compressor. Kaiser? Kaiser? Um, see, it's a rotary screw compressor, an air tower 7.5. We took the cover off. So it's got 7.5 horsepower, 230 volt, single, uh, three phase. Um, John was really impressed that the rotary screw part is like, it's about this big. We can see it on the side there. Um, yeah, the, if you guys don't know, these screw compressors have two large screws that as they rotate, they're sealed and they compress the air. They're not, and not nearly as large as you thought. Yeah, Do holy cow. This, side. this is the oiling system. Oil keeps the, the screw clean, oil filters and stuff. <laughs> Look funny. inside, you see the motor. Okay, so this is the motor here. The, that's the yeah, lighter color. And the rotary screw, there's two screws, the sideways, tied to side ones right there. Wow, Those that's are the two it. They're, They're like what, two inch diameter? That's it, folks. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look at that. Your two screws are literally the two things. Sorry, it's bad lighting. Um, they're, they're literally, I mean, I thought these screws would be, I, I literally thought the screws might be the whole height of the tank. And I thought they, I asked John, are they vertical? And he said, no, 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 you got to come look. And they're literally just the little things inside of there. Yep. Inside here, this is a filter. This is another air filter. No, this is, um, this is actually like an intercooler on a car or a radiator for that matter. Um, so, so what does, what does that do? After cooler. So it comes, I, I believe, um, it comes out of the tank and this cools the air and condenses it and any liquid comes out of the air. Um, cause there's a fan that goes here. I see. Hot air comes out just like a radiator on a car. It cools the coolant. Um, something like that. I'm mashing words here, but. Yeah, so that's what that does, and then that that little thing's an air filter. So in the in and below, and below is the um, refrigerated dryer. So it, it makes the air drier um, by taking the moisture out of it, and making it super cold, and takes the moisture out. So there's a drain that would drain residual moisture out of the air. Yeah, there is a drain. Okay. Automatically. Oh, sweet. Gotcha. Uh, there's a moisture sensor at the bottom of the tank that once it fills up and it gets so much moisture, it goes. Pfft. So folks, this is incredible because this is a relatively small unit and the majority of the, of the volume is the holding tank. There's also an air dryer built into it and the darn screws, which literally I thought were like two feet, are you know like that big. This yeah. is crazy. And this is all just electrical panel, panel and I mean, this well, is designed to be a very compact, small unit. There are bigger ones, but most of them are always very small. And but the other way to think about how crazy it is, is that you're putting seven and a half horsepower into yeah. two, two little <laughs> little two inch shafts like yeah. this. That is crazy. So uh, for all of you out there that wanted to know more about rotary screws, which is me for sure, thank you very much to Mr. Grimms. Come back soon.